Welcome everybody into this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be focusing into editing the actual color of the sales section inside your actual Shopify store. So first of all, what you wanted to do guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can all get started totally for free once you have claimed your actual amazing store into Shopify. Let's just jump right into it. First of all, accessing the Shopify administrator. If you go directly inside your Shopify into the home section, you should see that we have the things to do, improve the composing rate, um, a lot of stuff here. So what you wanted to do, first of all, is to enable the sales section into your store. And to do that, go directly into products. Now here into product, let's say for example, that I'm gonna be adding an actual sales section of this product. So this one actually costs $6. What I want to do is to go for edit, bulk edit, and I wanted to edit the current price. You should see here that I have compare at price. If you don't see it and you want to go here into columns and enable the compare at price. Here into compare at price, what I wanted to do is to create a price higher than the current price. So I might be having this, uh, the actual sales section. Now, what I want to be doing before I do this is to show you how it actually looks my product. So as you should see here, I only have the actual product. That would be actually it. I have nothing with the actual product uh, price and all of that. So let's go back here. And here I do have $6. I'm gonna change this for USD dollars. I have $6 with 38. Now let's say for example, this was $10 for example. So what I want to do is to paste this. So what's gonna happen here is that my product is now gonna be enabling the sales section inside my store so I don't need it to manually do this because the actual store is going to be doing it for me. So what you just need to do is to reload the page and make sure that we have now the current price and the compare price that we have just created. Really awesome. Now how can we change the sale color? Let's assume for example for my store I wanted to look out for in a specific uh, pinky color, right? So what I wanted to do is to open a new tab and go for pastebent.com. In this section, you can find a lot of coding stuff that you just need to, you don't need to do to know anything about coding. You just need to copy the code and paste it directly into your store. So what we want to do today is to copy this coding. If you don't find a code directly into pastebent.com, you have to worry about this. Just uh, go into the link that I'm gonna leave you down below in the description. So now what I want to do is to paste that code into my store. So what did I need to paste this coding? Really easy. Let's go into online store. And here, now what he wanted to do is to go, instead of customize, let's go for the three dots and let's go for edit code. Let's look out for the theme liquid. This one should be inside layout. Inside here, we have theme liquid. Now, if I open it, we have now theme liquid here. So now what I want to do is to type control F inside the section. And now I'm going to type the fast forward slash body. Now here, what I want to do is now that I found my body, what I wanted to do is to type um, enter above the body. So what I can do is to paste the code that I have just copied from pastebent.com. So I copy it. And as you can see, now we have the background color, number one and number two. So assuming, for example, that I needed to uh, have a pinky color. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to copy this hashtag and this actual element. I'm going to paste it into a new tab of Google and this is going to be picking up the color picker. So what I want to do is to find a really great color for my sales channel. In this case, I'm going to try to find something like this. Let's say this one for my store actually doesn't look that bad. There we go. So now I have this new code. I copy this one, I go back into my coding, and here, as you see, I have the background color, so I go and paste it. I only need to have one hashtag, right? So I copy and I paste it. This is the replacement that I just did. Now, I'm gonna hit into save. And lastly, I'm gonna go back into my store, I'm gonna look how for the product I was actually editing, and I'm gonna reload the page. If you see that the sale color hasn't changed yet, you can paste the same code. Instead of going for the theme liquid, let's close the layout and let's go for assets. Inside assets, let's go for base. Inside base, just go all your way down. You should see that we have a really, really strong amount of coding. 
So what I want to do is to go and enter once and paste my coding. There's no need to have any space though. So below that, just paste this coding. Now, once again, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing by copying the actual code that we generate here and replace it with both of them, one and two. I'm gonna hit now into save. And now let's try to go back into our store, reload the page and see if there is an actual change. So here it is, my actual new sale has this actual new color. And there guys, you have it, a really easy way of how we can change the sale button color into the Shopify store. Remember guys, that I'm gonna leave you the link down below in the description so you can find the paste bin section. And of course, you might be having the actual Shopify totally for free, then later on having a huge deal. Once again, below in the description, so you can find the paste bin, an amazing place that you can find a lot of coding to uh, edit your store, not only for details like this, for doing so much more. So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights, and hit the notification bell to stay into the loop, guys. Remember, you have the link down below in the description. Thank you for joining us today. Happy customizing and your Shopify storefront. See you soon.